In this video, we're going to be making a MacBook mock-up using Placeit. Now, these are perfect for showing off your website or your web app uh, to customers or to clients. So the first thing we want to do is go to Placeit.net, and on the top left-hand side of the menu bar where it says Digital Mockups, we want to just slide down to MacBook Mockups and click on that. Now here we're going to get all the different mockups that have MacBooks in them, and we can begin to filter them because uh, there are a bunch of different mockups, and it can be a little difficult to find the one you're looking for, but that's what the filters are for. So on the left-hand sidebar, we have devices selected right now. We have mock, uh, MacBook, which is exactly what we need. Next, we can filter by template types. So we can filter by images, by video mockups, by transparent mockups, such as this one that have a transparent background, multi-device, which include this one and this one and all of these that have more than one device in them. Maybe they have an iMac, an iPad, an iPhone as well. So let's just click on photo to see just the, the photo mockups. And finally, we can also filter by tags. So that's right here. And these tags just uh, show us the mockups that have things to do with home, business, uh, that have a blurry background, just if you're looking for something really specific. So I'm just gonna click on business and corporate. Right, and I think I'll use this mock-up here. So to actually make your mock-up is super simple. You just go up here to where the buttons are in the middle and click on Upload Image. So you can actually choose the image, your screenshot. That's on your computer. I'm just going to select this and open it. And we're going to get this little window that lets us reposition and resize our image. So if your screenshot, like mine, isn't quite the right dimensions, it's going to let you readjust it. So I can just readjust it here manually. And then when I'm satisfied, I just click on crop. But there's another option if you want to take a, uh, a screenshot of a website. So let me just close this here. And we go back to where the buttons are in the middle and we click on screenshot from URL, which is going to do exactly what you imagine. You just type in the URL address. I'm going to type in nytimes.com. And I'm going to click on go. So what this is going to do is instead of me going to the website on a new tab, taking the screenshot, saving it on my computer, then uploading it here and making sure that it has the right dimensions, all I just do is click on screenshot from URL, type the address in, and place it does all of that for me uh, automatically, and also places it within the mockup. So we just let place it do its thing, and there we go. We get a professionally made mockup, right? And it has the exact dimensions that I need, so I didn't need to fiddle around with anything. That looks really good. So once we're satisfied with our markup and we're sure we don't want to change anything, we simply go back to where the buttons are up top and click on download. And then we just select the dimensions for the download. So the small image here is 600 by 212 pixels. The high one is uh, 2720 by 960. And this is perfect for social media, for your website. Basically, if you want to display it on a screen, this is exactly what you need. However, if you want to print it out on a billboard or a banner or a brochure, you're going to need more pixels, uh, a much higher resolution image. So that's what super high is for. So once you find the one that you want to download, you select it, and then you just click on purchase and you follow those steps. And that's how easy it is to make a MacBook mockup on Placeit.